church while your pastor teaching lies. We after the world domination. For the blacks, Hispanics, and all of the natives. For Dominicans and Haitians and Jamaicans. Like bleach to a white tea, you nations can't fade us. We gon' take this kingdom, break it down, and build it up. Bring the treasures in the stars, tell them fill it up. All the nations drunk the cup, tell them sip it up. Even if their bodies dropping, they ain't dead enough. If you not walking in the way, better get up out the way. Better watch your words, cause he writing what you say. If you work iniquity, then death you getting paid. Just we coming soon, I can't wait to see the day. I just seen the vision, presidents and politicians, all the kings and all the princes, everyone was bowing down. With the rod of iron, lift the banner up to Zion, speak against us, then you dying, beating nations to the ground. I done seen the future in America, won't make it. I can look at Europe and I see it for the taking. China's about to fall, the economy is breaking. We ain't asking for the kingdom, man, we about to take it. World domination, we gon' take it. I don't need your money, yeah, we coming out to meet you. The London Bridge is falling, yeah. the Eiffel Tower falling, Statue yeah. Liberty uh, is falling, uh, all that world domination. Uh, I just woke up feeling like I run to run the planet. Yeah. Just like Jeremiah, you know that the Savior planet. They know we a day to be a prophet, so they panic. Word. With my rod of iron, I'm about to do some damage. When them waters open, I ain't trying to talk. All them babies getting rocked on the center block. We gon' make the heat and hot like a dinner pot. Then I break them in the shivers to the quiver stop. Whipping and flipping my people opinion till all the chosen to seal. You know that I've been a den as a watchman, so I've been watching the field. All I've been seeing is servants on horses thinking they king of the hill. We rising up to collect what they owe us, they gon' be paying the bill. I done seen the future in America, won't make it. I can look at Europe and I see it for the taking. China's about to fall, the economy is breaking. We ain't asking for the kingdom, man, we about to take it. Take it. World domination, we gon' take it. I don't need your money, yeah, we coming out to meet you. The London Bridge is falling, the Eiffel Tower falling, Statue of Liberty is falling. Call that world domination. World domination. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3, the Lord said, Endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Let's hear it. Unity! 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 unity. unity. And we will not ever bow the knee for the apologize. So at that, brothers, who's the king? What? Who's the king? What? Who's the king? What? Stand and face Jerusalem. Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets down. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion. In the land of the living, attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall come past me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. 
Heavenly Father, in the name of our son, Jesus the Christ, we ask, O Lord, that you heal Sister Yoella, that you heal Sister Rebecca. We ask, O Lord, that you heal Sister Abigathy, O Lord. We ask, O Lord, all those who are sick and suffering, that you heal them, Heavenly Father, and send forth a good angel to protect us. We ask, O Heavenly Father, that you continue to bless IUIC into new countries. We ask, O Lord, that you allow us to share this gospel on major platforms. Open the door of utterance for us oh heavenly father we ask oh lord that you bless these congregations with more believers enlighten us oh lord with thy gospel and bless us with thy holy spirit we ask oh lord that you judge and avenge all of our enemies oh lord we want to see vengeance heavenly father we ask oh heavenly father that you bless us repeat after me hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 name of our son jesus the christ we pray and we ask amen Men of Israel, sons of God, patient saints, sons of God, and salute. Salute down, face sisters. To the armadillos of Sarah, we say shalom. All praises, all praises, all praises. Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, Israel. In this building. Happy Sabbath. Where is that? Where is that? Where? Where's the? We in this building. Can we turn it up? Let's give a special thanks. We got Deacon Athan back in New York. Back in New York. It took some phone calls, but it got done. So right. corrosion. <laughs> <laughs> all praises, all praises. We got North Carolina captains here to support. Captain Ashan. All praises, all praises. Captain Josiah. Good to have you. Captain Get Alive back in New York. Yes, sir. Deacon Athan, welcome home. Welcome home. That's right, dude. Yes, I'm from here, yes. From here. <laughs> um... Today's class is entitled, Doth Nature Itself Teach You? I want to open up with the first image. It's the second, it's the second image on the telegram I sent y'all. This class will be based on this here. Anything outside of this. Now, this, can, this symbolizes, listen to me carefully, this represents both southern and northern kingdom, Adam and Eve, southern northern kingdom, black and Hispanic. So when I show this image, I'm not leaving out the so-called Hispanics or Native Americans, they are involved, they are included in this. At one time, they looked like this, and some of them still do. All right? So don't be stupid when I say, when I, when I talk about this here. I'm making reference to both Southern and Northern Kingdom, black and brown people. This image here is what God intended from the very beginning. Anything outside of this image here is evil and confusion. and goes against nature that God teaches us. Now, give me Genesis 1, 26 to 27. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image, going into the heavenly father, the angels, the, um, the son. The heavenly father, the son, and the angels. The count, the Godhead, all the, 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 um, the heavenly hosts. Let us make man in our image. Come on. After our likeness. After our likeness. They're going to look like us. So when God made Adam and Eve, well, when God made Adam particularly, he made Adam to look like them. Black entities in heaven made, were made on earth in earthly form. Go ahead. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. The same way they have dominion over man, over everything on earth. We have dominion um, in heaven. We have dominion, dominion over the earth. Go ahead. And over the fowl of the air. Come on. And over the cattle. And over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God has dominion and God gave the black man dominion. Go ahead. So God created man in his own image. Man in his own image. Go ahead. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he them. He made Adam and Eve and they made everyone else. And they made everyone else. Now, give me chapter 5 verse 1. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 5 and verse 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, 
in the likeness of God made he him. Chapter 5 is pretty much a recap of chapters 1 through 4. That's all it's doing. Go ahead. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. Meaning all of Adam and Eve's children were called Adam. They all came out of Adam, of the earth. Go ahead. In the day when they were created. In the day when they were created. Now, give me Genesis 1 again. Go back there. Be verse 28. 128 now. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 28. If I can fly through this page, I'm going to get through the whole class. If I cannot get through this page, I'm not getting through the class. I'm going to try to finish it. Go ahead. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and what? And multiply. So he made male and female. Go to that image again. We're going to emphasize this image over and over and over again. What God made. Male and female created he them. Go ahead. And replenish the earth. And said, meaning fill the earth, fill it up. Go ahead. And subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Now, go back, let's go up to 21 to 22. Verse 21. And God created great whales. God created great whales. Write this down. Whales includes Leviathan. Whales includes Leviathan. Leviathan is a whale, a great fish or sea animal, sea monster. He falls in this category here. This one he was made. Okay? Go ahead. It's all off topic, but just putting it out there. Go ahead. And every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. Mm -hmm. And God saw it that it was good. Come on. And God blessed them. God blessed them, these creatures of the sea. Come on. Saying, be fruitful and multiply. What do, tell the, what, do you, what do you tell the creatures of the sea? Be fruitful and multiply. Meaning what? He made male sea animals and female sea animals. Go ahead. And fill the waters in the seas and let the fowl multiply in the earth. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what verse is that? We in verse 23 now. That's all I want. Get me Genesis chapter 6 now. So he, he told the animals, he blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply. He told creatures that first and that were Adam and Eve were made, same thing applied to them, male and female. Now the only creatures, why he made it, I don't, why he made it the way he did, I don't know, that's different is seahorses. Seahorses, the males carry the child. Why? I do not know. Are there any seahorses in this room? No, that does not apply to you. No. You are a human being. They're sea creatures. Or you could take your Sodom self into the sea and see how long you last with the seahorses. Go in there with them and be together since you, are, since you relate to them. Six and one. Genesis chapter six and verse one. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fear. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Come on. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with men. With man. This is talking about man, not angels. Man. Man. Come on. For that he also is flesh. For that he also is flesh. Not divine. Not <laughs> flesh. Go ahead. Yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. I'm going to cut his lifetime, lifespan short. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, no, jump down to 17. Take me somewhere else. 17 verse uh, 19. I'm sorry, 17 19. Verse 17. That was good too, but it's referring to man. So jump to the same context. 17 now. Verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh. All man. Go ahead. Wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. Come on. And everything that is in the earth shall die. Come on. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark. Noah. Thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons wives with thee and of every living thing of all flesh two of every sort shall thou bring into the ark two of every sort shall thou bring into the ark two of every sort come on to keep them alive with thee they shall be male and female be what they shall be male and female Is there a third gender written there male and female only two male and female what verse is that Verse 19. Jump on chapter 7, verse 1. Chapter 7 and verse 1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee 
For thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens, the male and his female. And of the beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. So the male and his female, the clean and the unclean. This is letting you know that during Noah's time, there was a distinguishing between clean and unclean and male and female. <laughs> clean, unclean, male and female. All right, what verse is that? We in verse 3 now. In verse 3, hold on. Is that what I want you to go? Yes, read verse 9. Read verse 3 now? Verse 3. Yes, read sir. verse 3 now. I'm sorry. Verse 3. A fowls also of the ear by sevens, the male and the female. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So male and what? The male and the female. So, you, so on, it says birds, male and female. Then he says beasts, male and female. Go ahead. To keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. To do what? To keep seed alive upon the face of all the to earth. To keep seed alive. You acquire a male and a female to maintain the existence of humankind. Of any kind. You acquire male and female. Feminism says you don't need a man. But you can go without a man, but get a sperm donor. Where does sperm come from? The, the sky? It could come from plants? No, it comes from men. You need male and female to, to keep seed alive. What verse is that? That was verse 3. Jump to verse 9 and then verse 16. Verse 9. They went into, they went into and two unto Noah into the ark. Watch. The male and the female. Who? The male and the female. No, three by three. Three and three. The male and the female. Male and female. Binary. Two genders. Two sexes. They're trying to say there's two different things now. Sex and gender is different. No, they're not. It's the same word. Today, today is going to be, in this right version, of Sesame Street. I'm going to go over a whole bunch of words today. We can sing this song. Can you tell me how? You can sing if you want. We can sing it. That's going to be today's class. Words today. Words. Because these sodomites, these, these uh, LGBTQers, they play semantics and they play word salads. So you got to be up on game with words when you deal with them. I love to read. And when you read, you can found them real easily. What verse is that? That was verse 9. 9 again? Verse 9. They went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. 16. Verse 16. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh. Went in what? Went in male and female of all flesh. Went in male and female of all flesh. Animals and man alike went into the boat, into the ark, to survive the flood, the devastating flood that killed everyone that was not in the boat, male and female. Outside the boat, male and female, both beasts and humankind. Mankind. Go ahead. As God hath commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. The Lord shut him in. Now, Matthew 19, verse 3. Some of y'all will say Christ never spoke against homosexuality. Yes, he did. He sure did. Right. You're going to learn today. It's not the way, just not, you just not, you know, you're too blind to see it. Matthew 19, verse 3. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 3. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Come on. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Male, female, and something else? Made them male and female. Male, female, and intersex. Made them male and female. Male, female, and pansexual. Made them male and female. Okay, so we have two so far. I'm still waiting for three. It's not there. Go ahead. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. One flesh, come on. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together... Let no man put asunder. So God joined together male and female. This, that's marriage. That was the first. He's referring to Genesis 2. Adam and Eve were the first marriage, and they were male and female. So anything outside of that order is anti-life. Not a lifestyle. It's an anti-lifestyle. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. What man has done today is man has pushed the LGBTQ um, Q ideology, they have pushed the feminist ideology, 
which causes a rift between male and female. They're putting it asunder through um, feminism and through homosexuality. And the main target of this particular attack is the black and brown families. Because Edomites, so-called Europeans, they are very, very, very much have a homosexual background. They are, um, what's the term they use for them? Uh, it's uh, homo something is a word for them. Everything with them is homosexual in their comedy. Homoerotic, some word they use for them. But when it comes to them, it's natural. It's very natural. You know, you know they, they go to the shower, they go to the gym, they, they grab each other behind, always doing some weird stuff, gay stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, normal yeah, for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Greco-Roman culture, homosexuality was a social norm. Greek culture, social norm. Roman culture, social norm. In fact, all the nations, really. Heathens, ham too, social norm, from which the Greeks adopted it from. God said, no, you will not be like them. You're going to be like me. You will not do that. I made male and female. That's how you will do each other, male and female. Other nations, other nations, un- other godless nations will say, oh, male and male, because ha- their God, t- God doesn't tell the difference. They do whatever. Read on. We're going to read to verse 4. Well, we stopped already, 4 already. Yes, sir. We, we just finished 6. We passed it. Damn. Okay. I'm not looking at it. All right. Give me Mark um, 10 and 5. This is the book of Mark, chapter 10 and verse 5. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. Regarding divorce. Verse 6. But from the beginning of creation. From the what? But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. From the beginning of the creation of, of God made them male and female. The creation of God was male and female. That was what God created. He said, if I, he said you must preserve life by preserving both male and female of animal and preserving male and female of man, kind. That's what survives the flood. When you push an agenda of same sex, you are literally killing the race or the populace. That's what you're doing. All right? Now, and that's all by design. This whole, um, the elites pushing this whole depopulation thing, it's all by design. Okay? Now, designed against us, because as we all know, according to the Bible, Israel is the sand of the sea. So they're trying to deplete, deplete and delete us. We're the main target. Couldn't kill them with crack. Couldn't kill them with public assistance. Eh, stick them gay now. That's what they're doing now. That's the new attack now. If you're smart, you'll see it. If you're stupid, you're going to fall right into it. De- Deuteronomy 12, verse 15. Deuteronomy 12, 15. We're going to do it book- nature this class. Do it nature today. 12, 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 12, and verse 15. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck and of, as of the heart. As of the roebuck and as of the heart. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. So roebuck and the heart. So why don't we get out of that verse? The roebuck and the heart. The roebuck and the heart. Now, the roebuck would be a male deer, a male roe deer, okay, or a hart or a stag. There's a movie, some of y'all remember it, cartoon called Bambi. And Bambi's father was called the Great Stag. He's the big male deer, the big chest and the big horns that you see. That's a male, that's a roebuck. They used to call slaves bucks. You're a buck because the big black slave is strong. He's a buck or a roebuck. Okay, so a roe buck is a male roe deer or heart slash stag. I didn't write that down, but that's fine. I'm sorry, I put stay there. It's supposed to be stag, not stay stag. Sorry, I don't know why why is there. Stag, heart, stag, or roe buck. Okay. Um, what else, what else, what else? And a roe or a hind is a female deer. So roe buck, male. Hind or roe, female deer. Roe or hind is a female deer. Okay? Now, get me um, Proverbs 5.19 to prove that. The Bible oftentimes explains itself. 
Proverbs 5, 19 regarding the, the, the role of the hind. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 19. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. That's the same thing. Go ahead. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times. Ladies, you know what that means. Go ahead. You know. And be thou ravished always with her love. And be thou ravished always with her love. Referring to the woman, referring to wisdom is twofold. So the roe or the hind is a female deer. Okay, a female deer. Now, get me Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. We're going to read down to 14. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Remember, God made animals, male and female, sea creatures, male and female, mankind, male and female. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God shows us and only us. That's why we are the main target in the conspiracies I mentioned earlier. Because these nations know what we've been forced to unlearn. Through slavery, oppression, destruction, we've been forced to unlearn those things that's the most important to us. Mainly our God and our heritage. So knowing, learning this, we must return to these laws and commandments that teach us male and female. Because the enemy's going to teach you male and male, female and female, to depopulate us deliberately. Read on. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. Right, we were the youngest and fewest. Go ahead. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. That right there is John 3.16. Because the Lord loved you, but God so loved the world. That's the world right here in this verse. Read it again. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. Your fathers, that's ancestry. Go ahead. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage. And redemption goes back to Israel. Redeem or rede redemption is us, for us. Go ahead. From the hand of Pharaoh. The hand king, of Pharaoh, come on. King of Egypt. Come on. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Come on. And repay of them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. Damn, come on. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swore unto your fathers. Come on. And he will love thee, and bless thee, and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land. What the Most High is going to do? Bless the fruit of the womb that requires a male and a female to do that. Go ahead. Thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, the increase of thy kind. The increase of thy kind requires male and female beasts to, to, to multiply. Increase of thy kind. That's like your cows, your ox. Go ahead. And the flocks of thy sheep. Male and female. Go ahead. In the land which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Verse 14 is a key verse. Come on. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you. Damn. Read it again. There shall not be. No, read the top. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. God said you shall be blessed above all people. How, how so, read? There shall not be male or female barren among you. There will be no male nor female infertility or sterility among us. We'll be fruitful. Men are going to have millions of sperm. Women are going to have millions of eggs. That's what he's saying. You'll never, ever, ever be sterile or unfertile. Ever. When you're done with me. But when you're not done with me, I'm going to mess you up. Make you infertile. Make you sterile. Mess you up. Read on. Or among your cattle. Or among your cattle. So the Lord said keeping the commandments brings those blessings upon us. Being a fruitful nation, both male and female. Not being barren. I'm going to keep pushing that over and over and over again. Because the opposite is being pushed in the world today. No, I'm, sorry, the opposite, no, I'm sorry. 
they're being pushed, but they're being pushed in different directions, away from each other and not to each other instead. Now, get me 14, verse 5, same book, chapter 14, verse 5. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 5. Read something, verse 4. Verse 4. These are the beasts which ye shall eat. Clean. The ox, uh -huh. the sheep, and the goat. Go ahead. The heart. The what? The heart. The heart. Go ahead. And the roebuck. And the roebuck. Remember earlier, maize a male deer. Go ahead. And the fallow deer. Deer. Go ahead. And the wild goat. And the pygarg. Pygarg. I have uh, bison here. You know, the northern kingdom, Gad, had a whole bunch of bison. A pygarg is a bison. Go ahead. And the wild ox. And the... Camoist. Camoist. All right. Um, hold on. Don't go, don't go too far ahead. That's all I want. So those are the animals you can eat. These are males. Get 15, 22. Chapter 15, verse 22. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike. Going into those circumcised and uncircumcised, our slaves and so on and so forth. It's going into that. The unclean and clean person shall eat it. We read that, read that earlier in chapter 12 and 20, 12, 15, 15, 22. We said the clean and unclean, if you are confused. Read again. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. The unclean and the clean person. Unclean and clean person is referring to Israel being circumcised and the heathens we had among us that were not. Go ahead. Shall eat All it. those of us who are uncircumcised also eat the same thing. Go ahead. Shall eat it alike as the roebuck and as the heart. Eat those. Go ahead. That's all I want. Now. Roebuck and the heart, he's a male. Now, get me the, the, um, the roebuck and the heart, go back to the male. Give me roebuck is a male roe deer, heart a stag, the roe is a hind. Give me Leviticus uh, 3, verse 1. Leviticus 3, verse 1. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 3 and verse 1. And if his oblation be a sacrifice of peace offering, if he offer it of the herd, whether it be a male or female. Be a what? Whether it be a male or female. Only two genders. Go ahead. He shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. Come on. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering and kill it at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. And he shall offer of the sacrifice of the peace offering and offering made by fire unto the Lord. Jump to verse 5. Verse 5. And Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice, which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Verse 6. And if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. Male or what? Male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. Male or female. I'm going to keep bringing it home every time. Get chapter 4, verse 23. Chapter 4 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. Or if his sin, wherein he have sinned, come to his knowledge, he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a male without blemish. A kid of the goats, a male without blemish. Read on. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the goat and kill it in the place where they killed the burnt offering before the Lord. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering with his finger. And put it upon the horns of the altar what of verse 28. Verse 28. Let's skip through it. 28. Or if his sin, which he have, which he have sinned, come to his knowledge. Go ahead. Another offering he does. Go ahead. Then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sin, which he have sinned. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering. So and, in, in verse, says, when a ruler um, sins in ignorance, he offers a male. When a commoner in 27 offers a, a sin offering by ignorance, he offers a female. You understand? So the ruler um, provides the, the male, the commoner provides the female. All right? So there's male and female being offered here. There's a difference. Male and female. Now, get Job 12. Job 12. I'm making a good time. Job 12. Verse 7. Job chapter 12 and verse 7. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee. Read it in. But ask now the beasts. He's saying, ask the beasts, and they shall what? And they shall teach thee. They shall teach you. Come on. And the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. You've been reading that all day. 
Ask beasts, they shall teach thee. Ask the fowls of the air, and they shall tell you. Same thing as teach you. Ver come on, verse 8. Or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee. The earth will be like the animals, the bugs. Go ahead. Creeping things. Go ahead. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. They shall teach you also. Come on. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord have wrought this? The Most High made all these things. Go ahead. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing, and the breath of all mankind. The breath of all mankind. So he says, they shall teach thee, they shall tell thee, they shall declare unto thee. Now, get 1 Corinthians 11, verse 14. This is where Paul got that quote from. He's talking about nature. Nature will teach you. Nature is a teacher. It tells you certain things about life. And how, and also in this works, how God's behind it. First Corinthians 11 and verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. So Paul got it from. Doth not even nature itself teach you? Does it what? Doth not even nature itself teach you? He mentioned, he mentioned what? He mentioned the beast. He mentioned the fish. He mentioned the birds. He mentioned the creeping things on the earth. These things will declare unto you. They will tell you. They will teach you. Nature doesn't lie. Go ahead. That if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. If a man walks that, come on. Remember 14 again. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? Because during this time, the Greco Roman culture, the men dressed the men dressed or wore their hair in a very effeminate nature. That was the Greek Greco Roman culture of the time. So Paul was speaking against it. Even now, men walk around with their hair permed, the Cat Williams type of style of hair. That's the style that Paul's referencing. They wore their hair in a, in a style that was similar or, or favored women. Okay? And Paul said that is a shame for a man to do. It's not a shame for a man to have long hair. It is a shame for a man to have long hair based upon how it was worn during this time. Okay, now I'm going to prove it to you. Jump to chapter 6. In verse 9, I'm going to show you what he means regarding a man, how he wears his hair, wore his hair. Verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Go ahead. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. The unrighteous not the, won't get the kingdom. Go ahead. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. No idolaters. These are things that were heavily prevalent in the Greco-Roman world. These are social norms. Fornication was a social norm. Idolatry is a social norm. Go ahead. No adulterers. Adultery was a social norm. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. Being effeminate. What's effeminate mean? When a man takes on what? Feminine characteristics or behavior. How he speaks, how he wears his hair, how he, how he carries himself. Effeminate. That's what Paul says in, in uh, five chapters later on. Don't wear your hair like that. That's effeminate. That's what he's talking about. Read on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And the next step from effeminate is homosexuality. Abuse of themselves and mankind. That's the next step. Go ahead. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortionists shall inherit the kingdom of God. They will not get the kingdom of God. Don't let Christianity fool you. Don't let cosmic white Jesus of unaccountability fool you into believing you can do whatever you want in the blood of Jesus and you good that's what Paul says be not deceived now read the next verse and such were some of you then Paul goes to say and such were some of you talking to the Corinthians the, all these things listed here were past tense were some of you there is no come as ye are in the Bible it's not written nowhere only God can judge me that's not, that's not in the Bible that's Tupac and he got judged so that's that's a lie right there. That's a lie right there. Read 11 again. And such were some of you. Such were some of you. Come on. But ye are washed. But ye are sanctified. He repented and are keeping the laws in Christ. Go ahead. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because under Moses you get death for these things. Complete death. There's no mercy or atonement. We read it earlier in Leviticus 6 where it mentions about the female offering, the male goat burnt offering. Those animals were signs of or symbols of justification. If you committed sin and ignorance or willfully, you had to offer an animal or die. That was your justification. That was your justification. That was your atonement. That was your reconciliation back then. But in Christ, 
you can atone for all these things you cannot atone for under Moses. That's why he's saying here, now are ye justified in the name of Christ. Go ahead. And by the spirit of our God. The spirit mean the words of God, the laws of God that tell you not, not to do those things. All these things are against all these things are against Old Testament law. All of them. Now, give me Proverbs 6 and verse 6. Proverbs 6, verse 6. Proverbs 6, verse 6. We're going to read to verse 8. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6. I'm kind of running fast. I'm going to get through most of it, so I'm not rushing later on and messing things. Proverbs 6, verse 6. Go I want to the, I get everything in this class. Everything. Because I hate that lifestyle. Anti-lifestyle is the worst. And part two don't want to hit the same. Because I forget stuff. And I want to just flow, finish it all. Proverbs 6 and 6. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6. Go to the end, thou sluggard. Go to the end. Remember what he said earlier in Job? He says, um, learn from the, um, from the earth, it'll tell you. Go to the birds, they'll teach you. I'm butchering it. You know what I'm talking about. Teach thee, tell thee, declare unto thee. Go to the end. Because nature is a teacher. Read again. Go to the ant. Go to the ant. Go ahead. Thou sluggard. Thou lazy man or woman. You're lazy. But watch how the ant works. Ants work. Go ahead. Consider her ways and be wise. Consider how the ant moves and be wise. You know what? These animals eat them. They have a nature channel showing you how animals operate in, 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 um, in uniformity, structure, order. They work together. They carry things hundreds of men, way above their weight. But working together, they move mountains. They're completely unified. I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you a, a, a nugget here. The only democracy on the earth is among ants. There's no, all of them are equal. They all work the same, do the same thing. That's the only democracy on earth is ants. Where they're all equal, do the same work. Work at ants, do this. That's democracy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Give me... Not, give me tarot.com. I sent you tarot.com regarding ants. Women will say, what about the queen ant? The queen ant. What about her? She's more important than all the ants. Is that so? Because she's called the queen ant? Okay. Read that. Let's see what she does. The secrets of royalty. Amazing facts about queen ants. Mm. You know, oh, little Kim, the queen bee. Money, power, respect. Need life. Key to life. What is the queen ant role in an ant colony? Huh. Queen ants have two primary roles. Queen ants have two primary roles. Go ahead. Let's er see if you call these. Maybe the ants are misogynists. The ants are misogynists. The ants are, the ants are, are uh, they hate women. The ants. Remember what you said earlier. Listen to the ant. It'll teach you. Read that. Early in their lives, they are programmed to be. They're what? They are programmed. They're what? Programmed. That's God. That's God's program. Go ahead. To begin creating a new colony. They are programmed to begin creation. To make more ants. Go ahead. After exiting her birth colony and mating, this young queen will find a new nest site and lay her initial group of eggs. Once those larvae have matured, and can take care of her. What do the larvae do? When they get older? Have matured and can take Once the babies get older, they take care of the mom. Right. Listen to the ant. And they'll tell you. See, but in order for her to have kids to take care of her, she got a mate Bring with a out. male ant. Not a female ant. There's no lesbian yeah. ants in this, in this here meeting. I'm not finding lesbian ants here. Read on. The queen turns her focus to the next stage of her life. Becoming an egg-laying machine. Becoming a what? An egg-laying machine. Well, in sister's case, a God-laying machine. Right. When it comes to the sisters. You're God-laying machines. Right. Prophet-laying yeah. machines. Mm. Priest-laying machines. Yeah. That's your job. That's yeah. Should be no shame in that at all. Yeah. Whatsoever. Yeah. Read on. In fact, some queens can produce millions of eggs in a lifetime. Hey, at one point in time, we could do it. Eve did it. He did it. Mm. Yeah. Then sin came into the, into the building. And then most of us, okay, for that, just one at a time. But Eve could pop out 
whole bunch. <laughs> she was octo mom. She was a mega octo mom back in the day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go ahead. It should be noted that despite the royal title, the queen ant has no real authority over a colony. Be it again. It should be noted that despite the royal title. Despite the what? The royal title. Queen ant. What? The queen ant has no real authority over a colony. There are no lead ants. Democracy. There are, they all work the same. They're all same rank. They all work together. I will do this, you do that. There's no hierarchy. They're all the same. The queen is the one that lays the, lays the eggs and makes more ants to work. It's a cartoon called Ants. Watch it. It's a good movie. Good for kids. Ants. Bring it out. Read again. It should be noted that despite the royal title, the queen ant has no real authority over a colony. She does not direct other ants or make decisions for the colony. She don't rule nothing. She don't rule over the men. Go ahead. Instead, she, just like every other ant in the colony, just like every other ant in the colony, go ahead, is motivated by instinct. God. And a general sense of how she can provide for colony needs. The, that's what they all think about. The colony's needs. Oh, there's no, oh, I'm over you, you're over me. No, we all work together for the colony's needs and survival. Right. Go ahead. The only royal pampering she gets is that other ants will bring her food and keep, keep her, her clean. clean. They take care of her while she takes care of them by making more of them. Read on. What makes queen ants different from other ants? As with other ants in the colony, the queen ant has a role to serve. The what? The queen ant has a role to serve. That sounds so familiar. Give me Genesis real quick, please. Genesis real quick. Where's, where's that written now? I mean, let me, it sounds familiar. Let me, let me get it. I think it's in Genesis chapter 2 and verse... It's in the beginning. I think it's in the beginning. I think it's in the beginning somewhere. 2 and... Is it that? 18. I think it's 18. Is it 18? Yes, yes, yes. I'm at 2. I'm looking at 8. It's 18. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. Yeah. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. That the man, Adam, should be alone. Go ahead. I will make him and help me. A what? And help me. A what? And help me. And help. And help. And help. Go ahead. Meet for him. Suitable for him. A uh, help meet for him. Keyword? For him. For him. Not with him, not next to him, not above him, for him. And help meet for him. Read it again, please. Let nature's going to be a teacher. Read and it again. The, and the Lord God said. No, no, no. I mean, I'm sorry. Read the article again. I'm sorry. Read the, I'm going to get the article again. I'm sorry. Read the article again, that part. Yes, what sir. it says. As with the other ants in the colony, the queen ant has a role to serve. The role to serve or help. Go ahead. She's the egg layer of the colony. Other ants provide for the colony by taking on different roles. In an ant colony, there are multiple casts. Most are female worker ants, which, which forage for food, clean the colony, or tend to wait, the Wait, wait, wait. Where you at? I'm sorry. Read it again? Wait. <laughs> Read it again? Other ants provide for the colony by taking on different roles. In an ant colony... There are multiple casts. Most are female worker ants. Go ahead. Which forage for food. They go shopping. That's Proverbs 31. That's what they do in Proverbs 31 here. They go shop. Store for forage for food. Go ahead. Clean the colony. They clean out. The Let's get that scripture. Let's get it. Let's just get it. Wait, Timothy, Timothy. Let's get it. The ants will tell you. Even ants know, the women know the role even in the ants. But the black woman is confused. The Hispanic woman is confused. Why? Because Esau laid an egg in your brain. Like alien. Damn your damn chest poppers. And Esau popped out of your chest. Yeah, get that. Esau's a face hugger. That's what he is. A face hugger. He implants feminism in your mouth. Whoa! You lay in there, you sleep, you wake up. What happened? What's going on? Then feminism pop out your chest. Pow! Feminism. I'm gay now. 
Let's eat them. I hate men. Ah, do things on my own. I don't need no man. I don't need no man. I'm an alpha female. Yeah. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter. Do a movie called Edom Aliens. Do a movie called Edom Aliens, featuring the, featuring the black woman as the lead character. Like, oh, is it going to be Her name is Ripley. Black Ripley. Blipley. Called Blipley. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's the sisters today. Eat them in your brain. Where we at? First Timothy chapter five and verse fourteen. I will therefore that the younger women marry, mate, bear children, mate. That's the ants do. Guide the house. That's what the ants do. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Don't speak. Don't don't step out of your lane. Stay in your lane. Ants understand that. Nature will teach you. Go back to the article again. In an ant colony, there are multiple castes. Most are female worker ants. Most, you have male also. Go ahead. Which forage for food, clean the colony, or tend to the queen. Other castes are the soldiers. Whoa, whoa. You got rank now. Rank. Soldiers. Go ahead. For what? For protection. For protection. Drones, the only males. Drones, the only males. Women don't do that. And princesses. And what? And princesses. Up and coming queens. They got princess ants. Ants understand rank and order. Soldiers here. Queen here. Princesses there. Drones there. Security over there. This is an ant colony. That's what this is. Except there's elders here. Among them, there's just everyone does their own role. But they're all workers. That's why I said democracy. Yeah. Put the mic. Yeah. That's the ladies in waiting program. Yeah, li yeah, ladies Princess. in waiting program. Ladies in waiting, right. Ladies in waiting program, right. Princess ants. Right. Uh, I don't understand this article too long. Y'all can be on your own. I'm going to go to the next joint. Go to the next joint. Y'all can be on your own. Some good stuff in there. Get me um, Proverbs 30, verse 25. Have we finished Proverbs 6, 6 to 8? Sir. Go back to that. Proverbs 6, verse 6 to 8. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant. Thou Go to the ant. Go ahead. Thou sluggard. Lazy man, woman. Ants work. Why don't you work? Go ahead. Consider her ways. Cons we just read about her ways earlier. Her ways. We read it earlier. Go ahead. And be wise. And be learn. Learn from the ants. Go ahead. Which having no guide. Having no leader. There's no leader over them. Go ahead. Overseer or ruler. That's why it says not democracy. There's no leader over them. They all know instinctively what to do. How to work together. No ruler. No overseer. No guide. Go ahead. Provided her meat in the summer. And gathered her food in the harvest. They know when to gather their food and for what time, what season, when. So they won't starve to death. They know these things. That's why ants work. If you're lazy, you're going to starve and die. That's what the Lord is saying here. Read verse 9. Verse 9. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? Because ants don't. Go ahead. When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Ants work. Lazy folks starve and die. That's what he's saying. Ants work and live. Lazy, lazy folks starve and die. Get um, Proverbs 30, verse 25. Proverbs 30, 25. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 25. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. Read again. The ants are a people not strong. The ants are a people not strong. They're bugs. You can step on them. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're little, little tiny things, light, small, harmless. Well, some of them are harmless. Some of them will kill you. Some of them are red ants will teach you. Anyway, they're, they're small, very small, weak. Read again. The ants are people not strong. Are a people not strong. Go ahead, because they're a nation. Ants are a nation or a species of people. Go ahead. Yet, they prepare their meat in the summer. But they prepare themselves for the summer by working, harvesting. They know instinctively because God put that in them for us to watch and learn. Wow, ants do that? Oh, they do that? You see ants in videos lifting up heavy objects, carrying huge, or huge things to, back to their colony. Like for example, I, for example, so I know in my house we have mad ants. But right? on summertime, they 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 infest. So we'll put poison down. I watch them take the poison. 
pick it up and they bring it back home and never come back again. They'll be, they'll be dead. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lord. You can't be in here. Do that out there. I'll eat in here. Crawling on my damn desk. I can't even study. I don't like all that, man. So, but I watched them carry the food to their back home, out my house. Never come back. Sorry. Anyway, I should have said that out loud. But anyway, it's too late. I'm sorry. I, watch, I, watch, I mean, I watched them. I learned. <laughs> yeah, Lord gave me dominion. <laughs> Judges 14, verse 8. Judges 14, verse 8. Judges chapter 14 and verse 8. And after a time, he returned to take her. And he turned aside to see the carcass of the lion. And behold, there was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. There was a swarm of bees. So swarm of bees. There was a swarm of bees and honey in the lion when Samson came across it. But I want to deal with the part where it says swarm of bees. Give me Sirach 11, verse 3. Ecclesiasticus. 11 and 3. Ecclesiasticus 11 and 3. Sirach chapter 11 and verse 3. The bee is little among such as fly. The bee is little, like ants. The bee is little among such as fly. Go ahead. But her fruit is the chief of sweet things. But honey is the best. Put in your tea, honey is a root of, of sweetness. Is the what it says? The chief of of sweet things is the honey that they bring forth. Okay? Now, bees have two stomachs. So we had to know that. Bees have two stomachs. Well, I, I, a bees are unlawful. You can't eat bees. How come we can eat their honey? Because they have two stomachs, like the cow. So the Lord made it where they have, I think they eat one, and they have one sack for honey and another for food. They have two stomachs. That's why we can eat the honey. The Lord's a genius. The most High is a genius. That's right. Uh, give me a uh, queen. No, give me um bee beekeeping like a girl. Dot com. Some of y'all heard of the term queen bee. I mentioned it earlier, little Kim, queen bee. Oh, it's a queen bee. Surely she rules the queen. Surely she rules the bee. She's the queen. Surely she must have power over the male bees, because she's the queen bee. Read that. Six things you didn't know about queen bees. Come on down. Let's go down. Read up. As the soul, as the soul bee in her cast, the queen bee is an illustrious member of the beehive. Mm -hmm. She is not only unique among her colony's population; she is vital to maintaining that population. She is, she's what? She is vital to maintaining that population. As is the queen ant. Go ahead. A queen can lay up to fifteen hundred eggs a day. Damn. Although egg laying is her main gig, the queen has many other qualities that may surprise you. Read on to, uh, all right. Queen yep. bees are not rulers. Read again. Queen bees are not rulers. Read again. Queen bees are not rulers. What we're reading is, is divine order. We're reading divine order. Queen bees are not rulers, despite the title they're given. Queens, go ahead. It is often assumed that the queen bee manages the hive like a monarch would. As the queen ant is assumed for her the same thing, but she don't rule the ants. Go ahead. Ordering worker bees about. While she does have some influence over the behaviors of the worker bees, the beehive is actually closer to a democratic system. Like the ant. No ruler, no overseer. Go ahead, no guide. Go ahead. Much of the hive's daily tasks and functions are controlled by pheromones. Fer pheromones. Pheromones. And other chemical signals that appear to happen instinctively. God. Instinctively is God putting the nature in them, programming them. Go ahead. When a conscious decision is made, like a swarm's choice of nesting site, the worker bees decide by voting. They, wow. The bee, they decide by voting. Go ahead. Queens only have sex once in their life. Damn. That's rough. Go ahead. Most instincts, <laughs> most insects live short lives, but you may be surprised to know that a, bee, that a queen bee can live two to seven years. Her lifespan typically depend, depends on how many males she mates with. Mm. A queen mates only once in her life and stores the sperm she collects in a special organ. She got a sperm bank. Yeah. Where she draws from to lay eggs for the rest of her life. Damn. Yeah. 
She got Queen, mega sperm. Queen's mate in the Somebody's air. Somebody's about to get turned on in here. Relax. Some of Some of you feel false when we get, get an idea. No, that's not referring to humans. It's referring to bees. Some women be doing that. We storing you, sperm and hiding it. Right. Hiding it. I'm going to get a turkey, turkey baster and do it myself. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, Drake. Drake put sister tried to take his sperm and he put hot sauce in the condom and shook it around and threw it in the garbage. He tried to take it out of there and put it up there and she said, ah, it burns. And tried to sue him for trying to steal his semen. What? She, I guess she a queen bee too. We at, you know? Queens mate in the air with as many drones as possible. They have drones too. So, technically, she does have sex. She does have sex multiple times over the course of a day or two. But she only mates for this one period in her life. A colony with a well-mated queen will thrive. But over the years, this queen may begin to run out of genetic material. Wow. Right. Once she runs out, she cannot mate again. She is simply replaced by either the beekeeper or the bees themselves. Most queens lay well for about three years. So, once again, there's an order in, in nature. Order in nature. There's no ruling queen bee over the men. There's no ruling queen ant over the men. That's a misconception. It just simply means queen because they're the most important of females in the colony. So they're called queen, not because they rule over the men. Now, get me um, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 1. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Man has a head. Man has a head. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Go ahead. And the head of Christ is God. And Christ has a head. That head is his father. Two separate entities who do not believe in no trinity. For those of you who may be confused. Now, that's, that's called the divine order. Now, what Esau has done and the nations have done is to make certain that they've taken that order and flipped it around. Where now woman is the head, the man then Christ and God, is that's their order or whatever. If Christ and God is even in that order at all, if they're even found in there. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Satan, cosmic white Jesus of unaccountability, woman and man, right. Then, then child, if that, they don't destroy it. Where we at? Now, give me the list now of genders I put it. The, the list. The list. Fix that real quick. It was bothering me. Yes, that. I fixed it also. If you go back again, you'll see it's fixed for stag as opposed to stay. Just go out and go back again. If it takes too long, just go back to the old one. I don't, I don't mind. I don't want to waste time. Yeah, let's need that just to show that how the Lord operates. So what I'm showing now, I'm going through, I'm going through slowly is the divine order of things, how God made male and female, and there is no different, there is no other gender outside of those two. Um, I'm a Lord, so if I have time, I'll go into that. You got it? Come on, come on. If not, just go back to the old one. I don't mind. I can, I can, I can skip past the stay part. I just want to, I just... All praises. There we go. So the deer. In the deer family, you have the heart, stag, or roebuck. That's the male. In the deer family, heart, stag, and roebuck are male. The hind or the roe is the female. The hind or the roe is the female. Next in the lion family, you have the lion. That's the male. The lioness is the female. Okay? Now give me Ezekiel 19, 12. No, no, no. Matter of fact, no, no, no. Give me Deuteronomy 12. No. Give me Job 39 and 1. Job 39 and 1 regarding the hind. Job 39 and 1. 
Job chapter 39 and verse 1. Knowest thou the time when the wild goats of the rock bring forth? Or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? Or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? I want you to Google hinds to calve. Let's Google hinds, H-I-N-D-S, to calve, C-A-L-V-E. What does that mean? Some of y'all may, from the south, you know what that means, or from the country or the islands, we know what that means. Hinds to calve. What does that mean? He says there, or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? Read that. What does it say? Hold up. What does it say? Hinds to calve. The shock of loud thunder causing... Don't read the first clause of the verse. The first clause of the verse, the voice of the Lord causes hinds to calve. So, go ahead. Refers to the shock of loud you thunder. Know, you know down south they say when you have thunder or lightning, that's the Lord talking. That's biblical. It's true. When you hear thunder and lightning, that's the, there's a conversation being had up there. Sometimes the most style that you hear it. So it says when the thunder strikes or sound of thunder, what's the cause to do? Refers to the shock of loud thunder causing hinds to go into labor. And that this phenomenon has been seen in, in nature. nature. So when thunder strikes, they get scared and they go on labor. So when God speaks, they go on labor. That's what it's saying. 39 and 1 again. Job 39 verse 1. Knowest thou the time when the wild goats of the rock bring forth? Or canst thou mark when the hinds do calve? Can you mark when the most high makes the animals go on labor? Can you mark that? How do they go on labor? When they labor the male and make babies. That's how. Psalms 29 verse 9 Psalms 29 verse 9 Psalms 29 and verse 9 the Verse 4 the garden there. Verse 4 The voice of the Lord is powerful The voice of the Lord is powerful Go ahead The voice of the Lord is full of majesty It'll cause you to go on labor If you're an animal That's how powerful it is Now jump to verse 9 Verse 9 the voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calve. There you go. The voice of the Lord, the thunder you hear, causeth the hinds to calve. Go ahead. And discovereth the force. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. I mean the angels speak of his glory in his temple in the heavens. That's the, con that's the conversation you tend to hear when the thunder and lightning. You can't understand what they're saying, obviously. The most likely that you hear that. But that thunder, that thunder is the words of, of, the, of, the, of, of the watchers, pretty much. Conversing in the heavens. That's what that is. So we oftentimes we be scared of that stuff, but that's the Lord that's the Lord speaking. What he's saying, I don't know. I don't want to know. I, that's terrifying in itself. But he's saying something. Give me Ezekiel 19 12 regarding the lion, the lion male, the male lion, the lioness. Ezekiel 19 12. No, 19 2. Ezekiel chapter 19 and verse 2. And say. What is thy mother? A lioness. She laid down among the lions. She nursed her whelps among young lions. So what is thy mother? A lioness. A lioness is a female lion. Get Nahum 212. Lioness. Lioness female. Lion male. Nahum 212. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 12. The lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps. Enough for who? For his whelps. Enough for his whelps. The lion male. Go ahead. And strangle for his lioness. And kill for who? For his lioness. And he'll go hunt for his lioness, his wife. So the lion goes out and hunts for his lioness. Lion male. Lioness female. I didn't forget that thought. Let's go to the next. Go back to the list again. Go back to the list. Go back to the list. Gender list. Horse family, you have the stallion. Megan, why? You're a female. You should be Megan the mare. That makes more sense. <laughs> Stallion's a male. Mare is a female. In the South, they call women who are thick or whatever, shapely, they call them stallions, but that's not proper. That's a, ma that's a male. A stallion is a male, and a mare is a female horse. Duck is a male duck is a cob, and a female duck is a pen. A male tiger is a male, and a tigress is a female tiger. Go up. A, a pig or swine, a male is a boar, a wild boar, and a sow is a female. Get me 
Second Ezra is fifteen thirty. It's like one plus one. I don't, but the world makes us stupid. Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse thirty. Also, the Carmanians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars. As of, the what? As the wild boars. As the wild boars. Go ahead. Of the wood. Of the wood. Wild boars. Go ahead. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So I want. So wild boar is a male pig, a wild male pig. Give me um. First Peter, Second Peter, two twenty-two. The Lord compares those of us who come into the truth and fall out and back into the world again as a female pig. Second Peter two, verse twenty-one to twenty-two. Well, twenty. One is fine. Second Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. Yes, yeah, fine. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it uh -huh. to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. To go back, better if you had not known the truth at all than to go know the truth, know the truth, and go back into the world and die. That's the worst. You better off just staying ignorant. That's what he's saying. Next verse. But it has happened unto them according to the proverb. True proverb, according to the true proverb. Go ahead. According to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again. The dog returns to his own vomit again. Go ahead. And the sow. And the female pig. That was washed to her wallowing in the mire. It's like a pig that gets washed and jumps back in filth again. It's a, it's a waste of time. So a sow is a female pig. Wild boar, male, sow is a female pig. Gender difference. Um, get, go back to the list again. Next is the goat family. You have the billy goat. That's the male. And the roe also is a female goat. All right. So get Proverbs 6 and 5. Proverbs 6 verse 5. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 5. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter. The roe would be the female goat. Go ahead. And as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Jump down, no, get me, now, get me Genesis 30, 35. Genesis 30, 35. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 30, and verse 35. And he removed that day the he-goats that were... The what? The he-goats. He removed that day the what? The he-goats. He-goats, meaning what? There's what? He-goats and there's she-goats. Read. That were ring straight and spotted. And all the she goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. So you have he goats and you have she goats. He goats, she goats, Billy and Roe, Billies and Rose, Billies and Rose, he goats, she goats. That's it. Now, give me the definition of male, please. Male. M, not the, the delivery. M A L E, male. As in man. A man which has testicles, sperm, prostate. A biological male, not a cisgender male. I don't know what the hell that is. Male, female. Nothing more. Male. Male. Of or denoting the sex that produces small. Typically, motile gametes. Motile gametes is sperm. Go ahead. Especially spermatozoa. Especially, especially spermatoza. Spermatozoa. Spermatozoa. With Matter of fact, if you can, can you please click that word for us, please? Spermatozoa will allow you to. There we go. Read that real quick. Spermatozoa. The mature, the mature motile male sex cell of an animal. The, the mature motile male sex cell male sex cell that women do not have of an animal, male animal, go ahead. By which the ovum, which women only have, ovum, go ahead. Is fertilized. That's the egg, go ahead. Typically having a compact head or one or more long flagella, flagella for swimming. Right, to swim to the egg. Go down to origin. Right there. Greek, read that word means? Greek. Sperm, spermatozoa, right? Read. 
Seed. What's, what's, what, what, read again, what's that? Seed. Sperm is seed. So seed of your fathers, Christ took on the seed of Abraham, that's what it means. He came through sperm. Seed. Go ahead. Is that it? That's all I want. Go back. Go back to the road again. Mail again. So you read, Rom you read Romans 1 and 3. In the Greek, sperm is there. Seed of David. He took on the seed of David. That's sperm. Get it real quick. Get Romans real quick. Romans 1 and 3. Real quick. Romans 1 and 3. Let's just get it. Then go back to mail again. Go back to mail after that. Some of y'all, what about the Greek? The Greek. Okay. You say so. It's not going to help you with, the, with your immaculate nonsense. Right. Not going to help that. Virgin birth nonsense. Romans 1 and 3. Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David. Made of the sperm of David. Made of the sperm of David. Through male line. Go ahead. According to the flesh. According to the flesh means according to all mankind. How man is made, how flesh is made, sperm and egg are required. That's back in Noah when it said preserved flesh with male and female, that the seed may be preserved. And Noah on Genesis with Noah. Same thing. Go back to male again. Read that. Synonyms. Click the arrow for synonyms. Read synonyms. Masculine. Mas so male and masculine. Awesome. What's going on through the screen here? Go back to the other one. I don't want that one. I don't want this at all. Go back to synonyms. Come on, IT. Come on. Come on. Male again. Masculine. Men's. Of men. Masculine. Men's. Of men. He. He. Man. Man. Adult male. Adult male. Gentleman. Boy. Youth. Guy. Fellow. Gent. Gentleman. Mother's son. Mother's what? Mother's son. The mother's daughter too. Mother's son. Oh, okay. Bloke. Chap. Geezer. Lad. Like Isaac was. A lad. Young lad. Go ahead. Dude. Bro. Ombre. Digger. Oak. Ooh. Oh, right. Okay. Ooh. Whatever. Right. Um, Admi, Bodak, Cove, Carl. Oh, so these are all references to what a man is. A male, a male, male, male. Give me mm, Isaiah 60, verse 21. Isaiah 60, 21. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous. That's not happening right now. That's not now. But Lord's will in the kingdom. All righteous. Go ahead. They shall inherit the land forever. Go ahead. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Come on. A little one shall become a thousand. A man shall become a thousand. Go ahead. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. I, the Lord, will hasten our nation's growth. And repopulation when everyone's destroyed in time. That's what he's saying. In the kingdom, we're going to have lots of children. There will be no homosexuality when the kingdom is established whatsoever. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found. All we'll be righteous. No one will be confused. What am I? I don't know what I am. That's not happening in the kingdom. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. Matter of fact, let me get the video. Let me get the videos. Let me just, let me just deal with that. Give me the videos. Give me the videos. I'm going to use some of them. I don't want to go to whole class without using none of them. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't want that yet. I don't want that yet. I'll get that later. That's hilarious. That's, that's hilarious. That's just, that's just for fun. Right here. Right here. We're going to start. We're going to stop. We're going to end at 327. This is a guy named Matt Walsh. He, he asked a magical question that the world seems to be confused about. What is a woman? You start that question, and it caused an uproar. What is a woman? Everyone, I, I don't know. I, he's going to explain what it is. Watch this. Now, this is the EMT right here. Okay, uh, well, watch this. Because they're not, they're not female. They, 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 have, they have... Can you wind it to the, the beginning? To th no, we'll wind it to the beginning. We're going to stop at 327, not start at.
stop at 227. How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a yeah, woman. As a man, would, yes. Y'all confused. Yes, as a man. You define a woman, Mr. Walsh. Uh, an adult human female. An adult human female is what a female is. An adult human female, which everyone should know. Go ahead. And how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Oh, gosh. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, How would almost you not as many know? Now, for, that, for those of you who may be new to this word, intersex, intersex is a new word that they've updated for a hermaphrodite. A hermaphrodite is a person that tends to be born with both genitalia. However, no one is born with both sets of reproductive organs. So they can determine what the gender of the child is because one, is one is an extremity. It's a, it's a, geno it's a gen genetic anomaly or, or a defect that's, very, that's found in very, 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 very few people where a man can, judging from God, where a man will have a penis and a vagina. Or he'll have penis balls and a vagina, and they'll look and say, okay, he has testes. So close the vagina up. Or if it's a girl with a penis, okay, um, cut the penis off and leave the vagina there. They know based upon the reproductive organs. No human being on earth has ever been born with both reproductive organs at all. That is a genetic anomaly or a defect that's found rarely. So these people here, this so-called community here is trying to play on that and go, yeah, see, you're born both. No, you're not, because you have one set of reproductive organs. No woman I know have sperm. No man I know has eggs. Or ovum, or, 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 or um, or I'll get to that later on, I'm gonna jump ahead. Go ahead, continue. People in the world are transgender as intersex, and well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly, that's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex binary of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote unquote trans woman is a female. By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. So how would you define female? Through biology? The audience Through my training. In healthcare, there are several the different ca categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. No, it's not. God made it very clear, it, male and it's female. It's not complicated, but you, you also didn't define. So what is a woman? What is a female? What are, What's mean. happening? Was, was the Matrix? What's happening? Is Smith in here? What's happening? Why is Green doing this? Come on, get together, man. Get together. You're throwing me off with this. But what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there we, are we no... No answer. No answer. Confound it. Watch. Watch what happens. Answers in human biology. Let me ask you, a question. you guys, ask well, you one last hang question. on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I yes. get that a lot. Because male and female is basic understanding of science. No complication behind it. It's no difficulty. It's what it is. But they, but they cause confusion. They're behind. Satan's behind this. Hold that. Get Proverbs ten verse nineteen. That's what's happening here. Proverbs ten nineteen. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 19. In the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin. In a bunch of talking words, there's sin involved. Sin is not found lacking in a bunch of words. That's what this is here. That's why he's getting frustrated because it's stupid what, he's, what this guy is saying here. Go back to the video. Are we good? Are we working? It's good? All right, come on.
like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go Pause. on to more because it's an EMT. This is a medic. They have to get that a lot. You're a medic. Of course you get biology a lot. You have to deal with people all the time. Continue. Complicated biology classes. We'll talk about sex as a spectrum. It's not. Now pause that. Now you have scientists that are coming forward, bringing forth confusion to further push this narrative here. They're lying. You have scientists coming forward saying, yeah, there's different gen No, there is not. That's all propaganda. That's all lies. Continue. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, then they're full of sh the ones that would say that. There's look. Right. That's right. Full of BS. That's right. Come on. There are... All right. And he walks off. Now watch. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, Pause. I have, I have... We just watched that. We just read that. Gametes, male gametes is sperm. Female gametes is eggs. Ovum. Men don't have eggs. Women don't have sperm. That's, that makes us different. That's two biological differences that distinguish the two. Continue. Watch. One last question. Come back. Come back. Remember, it's a medic. Watch are, this. All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick, can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Okay, if you're responding, you're responding to a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. <laughs> would, you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Look at the background. Look at the, no, the background. But, uh, 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 how, how, how far are we? Yeah, go ahead. That's because some people don't have body parts. Pause. Oh, ah, stop, stop, stop. Some people don't have body parts. Let's go make things up. Let's make things up if I can't win. Jeremiah 3, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be a few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. I go back to Isaiah 16 and 22. It's going to multiply. We're going to have a whole bunch of children in the kingdom. We're going to repopulate this planet. It's going to be all Jake, all day, all over the planet. And probably others. <laughs> you know that same sex stuff gonna be out the window. Thirty one twenty seven, same book. Thirty one twenty seven. Chapter thirty one, verse twenty seven. Watch this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of men. Seed of what? With the seed of men so, and women. And and with the seed of men. And with the seed of beasts. Seed of man and seed of beasts. He's going to sow me. He's going to cause us to grow fruitful, abundant in children. Seed of man, seed of beast. Now, get wisdom of Psalm in 7 verse 1. Wisdom of Psalm in 7 verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all. And the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Adam, come on. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh. To be what? Was fashioned to be flesh. To be what? To be flesh. Fashioned to be flesh. Go ahead. In the time of ten months, being compacted in blood. Go ahead. Of the seed of man. Of what? Of the seed of man. Go ahead. And the pleasure that came with sleep. Sleeping in the belly. He was compacted in blood of the seed of man. Go ahead. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. Come on. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that with kids. Like Christ was in Luke 2, verse 7. Swaddling clothes. Go ahead. 
For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Read again. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Every man was born this way. After Adam, that came out of Adam. Go ahead. For all men have one entrance into life. Coming out of the womb, from the seed of, seed of man, coming out the womb. Go ahead. And the like going out. And they die. Get Romans, Acts 2.30. Fashioned to be flesh of the seed of man. Acts 2.30. God in Christ, who is also our king. How did he come into the world? The same way Solomon just said. Acts 2.30. Acts chapter 2 and verse 30. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins. Of what? That of the fruit of his loins. Sperm, go ahead. According to the flesh. According to the flesh, like Solomon just said. Go ahead. He would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. That's how Christ was made. Sperm and eggs. Sperm and eggs. Give me a male etymology. Male etymology. Got the definition. Let's get the etymology of the word. What the word, word comes from. Male. Male etymology, please. Type in. Go to, etymo go, go to etymology.com. Etymoonline.com. Male. There we go. That's it. That's it right there. Yep. Read that, please. Male. Male. Human being. Ma a male human being. Go ahead. Male fish. Male fish. Or land animal. Beast. One of the sex that begets young. From old French, masal. Masculine. Mas that's where masculine come from. Masal or masculine. Go ahead. Male. Adult. Also used as a noun. From Latin, masculus. Masculus. Go ahead. Masculine. Male. Worthy of a man. Spanish. Uh, a province called Moscow. Spanish. Macho. Macho. You act macho. You're being manly. When you're a man, you're male, you're masculine. Men t nowadays are frowned upon for being too masculine. Oh, you, you do ma you, you too masculine. You're toxic. Toxic masculinity, but for some odd reason, there's no toxic femininity. That's non existent for some reason. Misogyny is pushed all over the world, but misandry is not. Which hate, hatred of men, that part's not touched on. Masculine, macho, go ahead. Italian, macio, macio, diminutive of mass. mass, male person or animal, male. male. Now, give me Genesis 1720. So the male is, and it says 1720. Give me that picture real quick of little, du little Duval. I'm going to show you what a male is not. Now I'm not sure if this is a meme or what, but if, it's, if this is real, this is crazy. It shows two, two guys standing stand like this with uh, locks. It's a picture with little Duval in the middle. Read that, please. Little Duval. This my security while I'm in Houston. The wild part is they both, they were both born women. Hey, yo. Now, how true this is, I don't know. But if it's true, that's insane. If it's true. If it's true. Now, don't get, don't get it twisted. I have seen women transition, and they look just like this with beards. They have they hold contests to see who looks like a man. They have contests like this. So who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I have seen it. Genesis 17, 20. It could be wrong, but I have seen it. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget. That's what a male does. They beget. Go ahead. And I will make him a great nation. Now, give me 2 Kings 20 verse 1. Oh, you think that was bad. It's going to get worse today. It's going to get even worse as I proceed further. That's real. That's, I, I got worse for you than that. 2 Kings 20, verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 20 and verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Mm -hmm. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Now, later on, the Mosai increases his life by 15 years. He has mercy upon him. Jump to verse 18. Verse 18. And of thy sons 
Thou shalt issue from thee. That shall issue from thee. And of thy sons that shall issue from of thee. Of thy sons that shall issue from you, meaning through sperm. Go ahead. Which thou shalt beget. Which you shall beget. Men beget. Go ahead. Shall they take away. And they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. These eunuchs became Daniel, Meshach, Shadrach. Well, Daniel, um, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. That's, that's the, those are the prince line. Okay? Hezekiah's line. That's who he's talking about. Get Genesis 5 and 4. Still done with beget. Beget. They shall issue from you. Beget. Beget. Genesis 5 and 4. Genesis chapter 5 and verse 4. And the days of Adam, after he had begotten Seth, were 800 years. After he had begotten Seth. Go ahead. And he what? And he begat sons and daughters. He begat because he, he had sperm. He begat these sons and daughters to his, and his wife and to his wife. Now. Give me the next one. Give me female etymology. Female etymology. Same thing, same site. The female. Teach your kids these words. They're going to use, use against them later on. See, this, this generation right now is being attacked. It's not us in the room. It's our kids they're going Ooh. after. Because the real generation, we all know better. 80s, 90s. 80s, I say 80s. 90s is, oh, God. <laughs> The Lord have mercy upon y'all 90s babies in here. 80s. After like the late 80s, y'all start getting like really retarded. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Captain Galat just made it. But, uh, but um, those, like, I guess you could say like late 80s and early 80s, y'all know that this stuff is madness. But the late 90s, 2000s children, that's the target they're after because they're really impressionable, social media, influence. That's going to deceive them. So you got to teach. Your children must be taught as a line of defense against this confusion. Learn these words. I'm telling you. Read that here. Female. Female. Family. Woman. Human being of the sex which brings forth young. Human being of the sex which brings forth the young. That the man put into her. Go ahead. From old French. Female. Female. Woman. Female. From medieval Latin, famella. famella, a female. From Latin, famella. famella, young female girl. Young female girl, go ahead. Diminutive of femina. Femina. That goes back to the word feminine. Femina, feminine, go ahead. Woman, a female. Woman, female, literally, she who suckles. Meaning she breastfeeds. Men can't do that. She who suckles to suck. Go ahead. She who suckles from pie root, I, to suck. The sense in vulgar Latin was extended from young humans to female of other animals, then to females generally. Then to females generally. Go ahead. Compare Latin masculus, also a dim diminutive. Well, I read that earlier. That's earlier. So that's female. Now, get me Genesis 4 and 1. Genesis 4 and 1. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 1. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have begotten a man from the Lord. Right. She conceived how? When Adam, went, when Adam went into her, and she had begotten a man of the Lord. She conceived. Now, jump to verse 17. Verse 17. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived. And she what? And she conceived. Because he knew her. He lay with her. Go ahead. And bear Enoch. And she bare children. Go ahead. And he builded a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. Jump to verse chapter um, 16, verse 4. 16, 4. Genesis chapter 16 and verse 4. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. He went in unto her, and she conceived. Go ahead. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her so eyes. They conceive, they conceive. When a man lay with them, they conceive. 21 verse 2. Chapter 21 and verse 2. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God has spoken to him. So they conceive, they conceive. Go to feminine etymology. I'm going to find something else. Why look for that one?
one second. One second. You got it. Give me one second. One, two. One second. One, two. Liz Max is gonna see this guy. Mary. Yes, probably. That's it. Yes, read thirty. Luke one thirty-one. Read thirty. Luke one verse thirty first. Remember, conceive women. They conceive through the man was involved. Thirty. Luke chapter one and verse thirty. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Thirty-one. And behold, thou shalt stop. Cons- thou what? Thou shalt stop. Thou shalt in the future. He's telling her, you shalt what? Conceive. Shall what? Conceive. How? In thy womb. How? What does that involve? A man laying with her. Every instance in the Bible, conceive, conceive, conceive. We got conceive, conceive. It's sex is involved. But with Mary, oh no, it's different. Magical. No, no, it's not. It's the same. Read again. 31. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb you shout conceive in your womb go ahead and bring forth a son and shall call his name jesus so she shall meet joseph and shall lay with him and get pregnant and have jesus that's what she's saying now off topic now feminine now where we at read that feminine of the female sex from old french of the what of the female sex of the what of the female sex of the female sex go ahead from old French feminine, feminine, female, with feminine qualities, effeminate. Feminine qualities means you're effeminate. That's 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. I read it earlier. Go ahead. From Latin. Femininus. Femininus. Feminine. In the grammatical sense at first, from, from femina. femina, woman, female. Literally, she who suckles. That's what femina means. Go ahead. The usual, the usual what... modern sense of woman-like proper to or characteristic of women. So it's feminine goes to female, woman, girl. That's what it goes to. There's no, I feel I'm a woman, I feel. There's no feeling here. It's what you are born as. Now, give me definition of female. Definition of female. The trans guy was confused. I what you feel. No, no, it's not medic. Read that. Female. Of or denoting the sex that can bear offspring or produce eggs. Conceive. Go ahead. Distinguished biologically. What? Distinguished biologically. What? Distinguished biologically. By what? By the production of gametes over. Eggs. Distinguished biologically by from who? From men. We don't have ovum. Eggs. Go ahead. Ooh. That can be fertilized by, by male, male gametes. Different sexes. Two different things. Human beings, yes. Male and female. Binary. Characteristics. Some synonyms. Come on. Woman. Adult female. Lady. Girl. Lass. Lassie. Colleen. Colin. Member of the fair sex. Uh, of the bird, parasites. wife, wifey, gal, Jane, sister, uh, broad. Shayla, Judy, Dame, broad, frail, maid, maiden, damsel. These are biblical terms. Demos- demoiselle? Demoiselle. I was like French. Gentlewoman. I know that before. Demoiselle. All right, you know that. Levi. Oh, come on. Anyway, who we at? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, he said, Demoiselle. He got, he got happy over here. Demoiselle. Uh, le plume, le plume. Where we at? <laughs> Give me um, woman etymology. Woman etymology. We're going to go through this fast. Woman etymology. Woman etymology. Read that real quick. Woman. Adult female human. Adult female human. Go ahead. Late English. Women. Women. Go ahead. Women. women. Plural ahead. women. Literally woman, man. Right. Because she's of man. Woman, man. Go ahead. Alteration of with men. Woman. What? Female servant. Ah, remember what he said. Made for him. That's what woman means. But well, who named her? Adam named her. I shall call her woman. 
because she's meat for me. Help for me, go ahead. Help meets for me, go ahead. Woman, female servant, a compound of with woman. If you offended, be offended, but that's, that's, what you're, that's what you're called. Go ahead. A compound of with woman. A compound of with woman, with P or with man, go ahead. Plus man, human being. Uh-huh. Uh, Watch. Uh, go down. Wife, mm, literally, woman, man. Go down. There's more. Let me see. There's more on this. Nah, I'll get there. I'll get there. Don't worry about it. Give me, uh, is that woman you went to already? Yes, sir. Go to the definition of woman. Definition. Woman definition. Uh-huh. An adult female human oh, being. I read that already. I'm sorry. Give me um, Proverbs 10. No. Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Deuteronomy 4 and 2. What the LGBTQ is doing is this. They're doing this here. God said made them male and female. Here's what the LGBTQ, A, B, O, D, B, Z, minus 5, plus 2, X squared, carry to B, PEMDIS, parentheses, for exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Deuteronomy chapter 4. I hate math, by the way. I remember that. 4 and 2. Yeah. 4 verse 2. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. You shall not add unto the word which I shall command you. Adam said, woman. He was a man. Go ahead. Neither shall you diminish aught from it. Nor say being a man's a feeling. Being a woman's a feeling. That's adding to the word of God. Go ahead. That you may keep the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I command you. Now, get 2 Timothy 1.13. Second Timothy chapter one verse thirteen. Hold fast the form of the of sound words. Hold fast what? The form of sound words. Hold fast the form. What are sound words? I'll give you a sound word. A sound word is male. A sound word is female. That's a sound word. It's clear. It's concise. There's no confusion. Oh, male is what you. No, male's not what I feel. Male's what you are. You're born as. A sound word. Read it again. Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me in faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. Right, because the words of the words male and female are in Christ's mouth. Matthew 19. He made them male and female in the beginning. That's sound words. Get me uh give me the definition of word salad. Word salad definition. Word salad definition. Here's what these people do, these sodomite community does. Word salad. It's a phrase. Here we go. Read that. Word salad definition. A jumble of extremely incoherent speech as sometimes observed in schizophrenia. Oh, that's not what it is. That's hilarious. That's not what I'm looking for. Let me see up. Um, uh, go down. Go to um, images. No, no. Go to images. Word salad. Click that right there. Link there. Let me see. Yeah, click that right there. The first one. Tip of the day. Let me see it. I think that's what I'm looking for. Let me see what it says. I think that's what I want. Blow it up. No, I saw no one. Go back, go back, go back. Go out to that. Let me see another image. Go to another one. Let me see something else. Uh, click. Uh, no, no, same thing. No, 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 not that one. Let me see. Uh, go to the, uh, the, 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 let me see. Click that. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to just deal with that sentence. Go, go up to the um, to the top with the uh, salad on the right, the words on the right. Go up, go up right there. Click that. You see what that says? That's not it either. No, that's not it. It's a, it's a particular term. Try Urban Dictionary. Urban. Word salad, Urban Dictionary. Word, urban Dictionary, Word Salad. Try that one. Word salad. It might give a more clear one what it means. Let me see. All. Let me see. Now the same thing is given. Go down. Go down that one. This is. Blow it up. I can't read it. No, go down. Not that one. Go down. 
Yeah, read that one. That's good. Read that one. That's it. Read that one. Word salad. That's it. Evidence with no true factual artifacts contained within. Contained within papers. Go ahead. Papers submitted as evidence written simply for supplying no information. Go ahead. And based on claims rather than proof. Feelings. That's a word salad. A, a word salad would be bi -gen binary, uh, cisgender, <laughs> pansexual, trisexual. These are all word salads. It's words of no sense. It's made up words. Now give me that. Give me that. Um, that the um, the one. Now I'm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna use. I'm, it's gonna be disturbing for y'all. But I'm gonna use this guy as an, as as an, as a uh, spokesman for it because he's one of them. Go to. Uh, hold on. It's a guy that looks like a girl. It says, um, Jeffrey Star. You're going to be disturbed. Sorry, but I got to use them against them so they don't say I'm, I'm, I'm a homophobe, transphobe. Here we go. Press play. It's their pronouns. Words out of pronouns. That's it. Press play. I might into all the other bullshit. I think. What other bullshit? The they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm -hmm. was so bored on their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. More stuff, more stuff. Yeah. That's where the conservatives like me, because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative you're vibe to you. You're not them. You're trans, you're male, or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. How are you a they? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's stupid is what it is. Yeah. That's but it. you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because Watch. if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic, you hate trans people, you hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. That's it. So I use them to say that. Right. That don't make no sense. It's dumb. It's dumb. Pronouns is word salad. Word, no evidence, no proof, just not just feelings since the pandemic. Let's make up more words to confuse people. Bro, what are you yeah, yeah, yeah. About, yeah. So one day I'm in my office and I hear commotion in another room. So I go and see what's going on. And there's an orientation going on. And as I hit around the corner, I see two big, tall, six foot five men. Wow. Right with weave in their hair. And makeup on. Okay. So I pull the, the lady outside that's doing the orientation. I say, hey, what's going on here? And they t she, she tells me that they're trans or mm -hmm. transitioning. I said, oh, okay. So I was like, oh, it's going to be a problem. So then the guy called me in his office. He closed the door and he gets real serious. He said, hey, man. He said, what you going to do about this? I said, what you talking about? He said, those people are in the women's bathroom. What you going to do about it? I said, I can't do anything according to standards. So anyway, long story short, I go to him and I say, okay, what is your pro? What do y'all consider Pronoun. yourself? Mm -hmm. Pronouns. One of them says, well, I'm transitioning. I'm just saving the money up to do it, as he has a 5 o'clock shadow, by the way. Strong chin. The other one says, I'm non-binary. I'm non I said, okay, what does that mean? He said, I'm one not. day I can wear a dress and have on a weave, and have weave, and the next day I can have a high-top fade. So I, I'm what I want to be whenever I feel like based off the day. It's confusion. Word salad. Word salad. Word salad. Get 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Yeah. Word salad. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Verse 2, watch this. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. These titles are unreasonable. There's no logic behind them. There's no reasoning behind these titles. They, how can a person, singular, be a they or them? That's plural. That's not singular. That doesn't make sense in English. It's dumb, but it's unreasonable. The Lord's going to deliver us from unreasonable and wicked men. This particular community are unreasonable and wicked people. Right. And we must receive deliverance from them. Only the Lord can save us from this. Give me um, sex now, definition of sex. Definition of sex. We've got to deal with that. Two sexes, because gender and sex are the same thing. What they're saying is different. It's not. It's the same thing. Well, sex is a, a social construct. No, it's not. It's not a social construct. Read that. Definition of sex. Sex. Uh, sexual activity, including specifically sexual intercourse. That's the first definition. Go down. Number two. Either of the two main categories. Of the what? Of the two main categories. Go ahead. Male and female. Male and female created he them. Go ahead. Into which humans and most other living things are divided on the basis of their reproductive re functions. Men cannot have ovaries, women cannot have sperm. Now, get me the etymology of the word um, sex now.
Read that. Sex, etymology. Males or females considered collectively. Sex is males or females considered collectively. Go ahead. Latin. From Latin sexus, a sex state of being either male or female. Gender. Stop. What? Gender. What? Gender. Sex and gender are the same word. They're synonymous. But the community says, no, they're different. No, they're not. Read on. A word of uncertain origin, commonly taken with seco as the vision or half seco. Uh -huh. seco as the vision or half of the race, which would connect it to, to connect to secure. To Sakare. Sakare. To divide or cut. Section. So the word sex comes from the word section. Why? When you section something off, what are you doing? You're dividing it between male and female section. Male, male kind, female kind, sex, shin, sex. That's what it means. Two genders or sections of people. That's what it means. Gender, sex is the same word. Now, give me definition, definition of gender. No, give me the etymology of gender. Type in gender in that same thing. Go back there. Type in gender. So I'll cut through time. Gender. Read that. Gender. Gender, kind, sort, class. Con gender is a kind, sort, or class. Go ahead. A class or kind of persons or things sharing certain traits. Watch. From old French, gender. Uh-huh. Gender. Uh, -huh. uh, gender. uh genre. 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 Genre is like a movie. Action movie, comedy, um, romance. It's a section of movie. Gender or genre. Gender and genre are the same word. It's a division. Genre or genre or genre. Go ahead. Kind. K kind of movie. Species. What kind of person or species of person or creature. Go ahead. Character. Gender. Come on. From stem of Latin genus. G what? Genus. It says from French genre or from Latin genus. Go ahead. Race. What? What? Wait. Genetic, genitive, genitive, generis. Race. Go ahead. Race. Stock. Family. Kind, rank, order, species. Also? Also male or female sex. It's the same word. But the word gender. Keep going. Watch what it says. Pie root what? Pie root gene. gene. Watch. Give birth. Beget. With derivatives referring to procreation. Pro and familial. And familial and tribal groups. So gender, the word gender is gene. Gene, like genesis, generation, genealogy. You understand? It's just words. Now, get me 2 Timothy 3 and 13. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. But evil men. And seducers shall wax worse and worse. Yep. Come on. Deceiving and being deceived. How? With this. Get me um, the video. When he says, uh, hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah, deceived and being deceived. Go to benefits. The last video. Benefits. Matt Walsh. Go to the timestamp. Of the of this talking, the last video, the last YouTube video with Matt Walsh and this uh, man girl here, Merle, female on the video here. Uh, just go to the beginning. It's gonna, it's gonna give a timestamp. Go to her. Skip him. Go to her. This is a, this is a, a trans telling men the benefits of being with a trans. Rather than being with a real woman. That's what this is. What the hell? <laughs> Go ahead, come on, play it. This video that we're going to play for you right now. A uh, person goes by the name Don Marie. That's this a, is a man. Yeah, uh, see? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Stay up, OnlyFans. Stay up there. Stay out of them OnlyFans. Go ahead. Transgender person who identifies as a woman. Fast forward to explaining this uh, just kind of late. Fast forward to him talking, to, to him, him, not him, but the other him, right there. Also identifies women, bit of watch.
Today we're going to talk about the reasons and the benefits of dating a transgender woman and why we are probably most likely, I don't want to be biased, but why we're probably most likely a better candidate of uh, dating than like, you know, your average bish. Paul, First, in, your, in your real female. We're better for you than real females. That is the target, ladies. Y'all open the floodgates. You let them in, you can't let them out now. Because right. y'all was, was running with this. Oh, that's my, that's my girlfriend. Meanwhile, it's a nigga. Right. Now they're trying to say, hey, I can tell, I'm going to take your man from you. Y'all taught men, the men, these, these people here taught y'all how to walk the runway. They taught y'all how to do the eyelashes thing. All this makeup stuff y'all do now, the long, long nails and, and, the, and the lipstick, that's all transsexual um, um, style. Give me that video now, TikTok video. That's worse than what I talk about. Get this video with the guy, the comedy. TikTok video, the guy, the lashes. This is what we, this is what we see when y'all do this. Because y'all trying to oppress each other when y'all wear when dress like this. Ladies, I just want y'all to know that this is how y'all be looking. Why do why 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 turn it up? Why do turn it up? <laughs> Best play. Ladies, I just want y'all to know that this is how y'all be looking. When y'all get them big ass eyelashes. I mean, how can you even see? I can't even open my eyes. I can't even see in front of That's all I said. So, y'all got this style from them. Walking the runway from them. All this, this thick makeup and lipstick and the long nails and the fake, all that's from them. Y'all starting to look like them. So now, if you look like them, they can pass for you. That was the trick that was played. Y'all fell right into it. Right into it. Like well, um, the movie um, Little Under the Shame with Jada Pinkett. She was peaches. And, he, and Shame asked her, hey, can I stay overnight? You got a roommate? He said, yeah, a girlfriend ain't got mind you stay overnight. Girlfriend was waning. Women was the dude. And that, that was comedy then. But in real life, that reflects art imitates life. Life imitates art. Y'all were doing that in real life. Calling these dudes your girlfriend, having them in your circles. He my friend. He made me laugh. Are they funny now? Trying to replace you? Not funny now, is it? Now the joke's on y'all. Give me um, real, um, Leviticus 12 and 1. Leviticus 12 and 1. Now you mad at us now. We defend us. No, you, you defend yourselves. You let them in. Let them out. <laughs> Escort them out. Leviticus chapter 12 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, Have conceived seed, like Mary was going to. Go ahead. And born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days. Come on. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hollow thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. John, the verse 5, born a man child, she has a certain time to be unclean. Verse 5. There's a distinction. So when she is a male child, 40 days. When she has a female child, it's 80 days. Read on verse 5. But if she bear a maid child, mm -hmm. then she shall be unclean two weeks as in a separation. And she shall continue in the blood of her purifying three score and six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled for a son or for a daughter. For a son or for a daughter. There's no in between. There's no other gender. Go ahead. She shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering. Unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation unto the priest. Now go to Romans 9.20. Romans 9.20. So what's happening? So being forth a male or a son or daughter. Romans chapter 9 and verse 20. Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against God? This community replies against God by saying that God made them one way but they feel another way. I don't care if God made me a man with, with, with balls and a penis. 
I feel like a woman inside. I don't care if God gave me a vagina with ovaries. I feel like a man inside. Read it again. Nay, but O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? As they say, well, why did God make me this way if I feel that way? Because there's demons on you. You got the damn devil on you. That's what's happening. They call it, now science calls it gender dysphoria. The Bible calls it unclean spirits. Demon possession. That's what it is. That's what it boils down to. Now, there's certain, how you say, mm, triggers that lead to this. There's either you were exposed to something very young or touched or exposed to something that you shouldn't have been exposed to at a very young age. There's multiple variables. Most of the time, this particular lifestyle follows behind child molestation. Nine times, I'll say eight times out of ten, child molestation is the leading cause of this right here. Where the child is confused, they get touched by a priest or an uncle or an aunt. They passed a law in Louisiana recently saying that if a man is caught ch um, child molestation, he gets his balls cut off. By law. They neuter a man now in Louisiana if he is caught in child molestation. We all praise it. That's true. Let's give round applause for that. Cut your balls off. Yeah, cut them off. However, however, there's something missing from that equation. Women molest children too. What happens to them? Nothing. They just get jailed. You don't cut the clitoris off. You don't cut a, a breast off. They get a pass. Man gets balls cut off. Now again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying you should cut, cut a woman's clitoris off. But if you don't cut someone's balls off, then you might as well share the wealth. Cut the clitoris off. I'm just saying. Put it out there. Just saying. Cut the hands off. Cut the finger off. If you want to touch the children, cut the hand off. All right. All praise. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, but people agree. All praise. All praise. <laughs> now, give me Isaiah 45 and 9. Do something. Do something. You saw a movie Antoine Fisher. That was women. R. Kelly. That was women to him. And many others. But men, we don't, we tend, men internalize. We don't speak when we're touched. We oftentimes kind of internalize it and we kind of move fast it. Women oftentimes are more emotional, so they're more, it's, it comes, it seeps out more. But a lot of these men out here walking around with dresses on and skirts on, speaking in S's and all that stuff, because women don't sound like that. They're trying to be what they know they're not. They're overacting. Women don't walk like that. Women don't talk like that. And a lot of these women who are, they call them, uh, they call them, um, um, not, I don't call them dykes. That's the derogatory term now. Um, they call them uh, stem or another word they call them. Studs, studs, them. They, put, they act like niggas. All men don't act like that or just that way. But that's their, per that's their perception of men because they hate them. So the man got to be a thug or a gangster because that's how all men in their mind, that's how they see him. So they act, they dress like that. Yo, what up? Yo, yo, what I'm saying? Tank top and do rag, titties on tape down. Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I mean, yo, yo, son, son yo. Yeah, yeah. Yo, men don't act like that, all of us. Yeah, here we go, the picture right there. That's the studs today. It, it look like Jacquees, Manny Fresh, or Bull Boosty today. That's their style now. Black lesbians always, always they choose these three as an option. Yo. Say I'm lying. I'm, I ain't lying. Black people stay. If a woman go to a stud, she's either one of these three men here. Oh, hell no. They choose those three. It's like a video game for them. Player one, player two, player three. Seats of rage. They pick one of the three characters. Where we at? Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 9. Woe unto him. All men don't look like this. We don't behave this way or dress this way. But their perception of us, their hatred of us, not only am I going to be a man, I'm going to be a hard, tough dog man. You know what I'm saying, yo? Because I'm crazy, nigga. I'll break shit. Nah, nigga, you a woman. You get your behind beat by a man. (laughs) 
So I all tough. You were you weighed 110 pounds wet. Get out of here. Get your, get your woman man ass out of here. Get out of here. Fee man. Come on, man. Woman. 45 9. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Woe unto him that what? That striveth with his maker. That's what they're doing. They strive with their maker. I don't care what God made me to be. I'm going to be something else. Be what I feel. I'm going to be what I feel. Be what I want. Go ahead. Let the potsherds strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou? Or thy work? He have no hands? Paul quoted this in Romans 9.20. That's where he got this from. Read the next verse. Woe unto him that saith unto his father. What do you say? Woe unto him. His death and despair. Go ahead. That saith unto his father. What begettest thou? What you make? Go ahead. Or to the woman. What hast thou, what what hast thou brought, brought forth? forth? Many of these people who've gone and got full transitioning, where they went and got their penis cut down. Well, I'm going to tell you what they do. They get their penis cut down the middle. And then it's flat back like a, like a, 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 a butter, a, 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 A butterfinger here. Flop. They cut it back like a. Anyway, cut the penis down the middle, turn it into a vag. And then a lot of them, they get sick because they, they, what they do to the men is they put a hole in the man. And the, whole, the body says, hey, why is this hole here? I'm going to put hair back here where it belongs. Hey, why is this hole here? I'm going to start closing it. This should not be here. They got to take iodine. You know, you have an earring, you hold your ear, you keep the hole open, put alcohol on it. They got to take iodine and shove it up there to keep it open. The hole keeps closing. So a lot of them get this surgery. They get many infections. They die. And many of them become massively suicidal post-surgery. Because they're being influenced to do it. Yeah, you're a woman. Yeah, do it. You're a woman. Cut it off. Yeah, you're a woman. And they go do it and go, why'd I do that? Now they're confused now. And they're pushing kids to do it. 12-year-olds who can't even, a child can't buy liquor, but they can get their penis cut off? They can't get a tattoo but get their penis cut off? Make it make sense. There's evil behind this. This is sinister. It's Satan involved. You can't go to the club, but you can get your genitals mutilated? What? Read verse 10 again. Verse 10. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, what begettest thou? Or to the woman. What hast thou brought forth? Give me that screenshot of cutting your thing. They say, oh, well, balls and vagina don't mean anything. It's what you feel inside, what you believe to be. Give me that post that, that screenshot I sent. Read that. Watch this. If genitals don't define gender, how does removing them affirm it? Make it make sense. If genitals don't define your gender, then why remove them at all? Just keep it. That means you know that penis belongs to a man and vagina belongs to a woman. You, by definition, agree that there's only two genders. Because if you get a surgery, what else do you become? You become something else? You become a monkey? You become a turtle? You get a shell surgically um, glued to your back now? You, you, you walk around and go inside the shell? I'm a turtle now! Teenage Mutant Ninja Retard. Make it make sense. I'm a fish. Well, take your stupid ass in the water then and go over there and stay over there with the rest of the fish, draw the fish. And stand there until the bubbles stop. <laughs> Give me Exodus 13 and 2. I got jokes for days to these people, but I, they, they're, they're a joke to me. You gotta repent. Stop it. Just stop. Exodus chapter 13 and verse 2. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. All the firstborn, come on. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. God says, Your firstborn of your children and your cattle are mine. They belong to me. So God says, You open up the womb. Jump to verse 12. Verse 12. That thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix. All that what? All that openeth the matrix. The matrix is the womb. The word matrix, word mater in matrix means woman. Like pater, like a, a paternal, paternity test, pater, paternity test. Ma um, you have, um, we call it a maternity, you have maternity leave. 
maternity leave is matrix leave. You understand? Mater, maternity, mater is matrix. Read that there, it's going to say it. The movie Matrix, what is all Israel in? They're in a prison. It's like a womb, or like a, a womb, an, an encasing. Read that. Matrix, 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 uterus, womb. From old French, matrice, womb, uterus, and directly from lat Latin, matrix. matrix uh -huh. Genitive matrices, matrices. That's fine, you're doing all right, go ahead. Pregnant, Pregnant animal. Pregnant animal, go ahead. In late Latin, womb, also source, origin. From mater. Mater, go ahead. Genitive matrice, mother. mother. There you go. So that's a matrix. Open up the womb, the woman. Men can't open the matrix. Go ahead. Read 12 again. Exodus 13 and verse 12. That thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast. The males shall be the Lord's. And every firstling. That's all I want. Now, give me Psalms 100. No, give me numbers 18, 15, numbers 18 and 15. I don't know why I had that there. Since it's close by, let's just get it. Numbers 18, 15. Let me get that. Numbers chapter 18, verse 15. Bring it Everything that openeth the matrix in all flesh, which they bring unto the Lord, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be thine. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man shalt thou surely redeem. And the firstling of unclean beasts shalt thou redeem. Right, open the womb. So give me um, Psalms 100, verse 3. Psalms 100, verse 3. Bring know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us. It is he that hath made us. Go ahead. God made Not no evolution. No, we came from monkeys. No. God made us. Go ahead. And not we ourselves. We didn't make ourselves. God made us. Go ahead. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And the sheep of his pasture. Get Psalms 139, verse 13. 139, verse 13. Psalms 139, verse 13. For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. So thou hast possessed my reins, meaning his mind. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. This is David talking. Go ahead. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. David said, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Go ahead. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth well. Right well. Come right on. well. Come on. My substance was B not substance hid. Substance means his body. His body is in the embryo. Go ahead. My substance was not hid from God me. God can see in the womb. Go ahead. When I was made in secret. When God made in secret means made in the womb. Go ahead. Formed. Go ahead. And curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Curiously wrought means forming in the belly. Forming in the, it says the parts of the earth is referring to the woman's womb. Go ahead. Thine eyes did see my substance. You saw my body being formed in the womb. Go ahead. Yet being unperfect. Not being complete yet. Go ahead. And in thy book, all my members were written. Stop. Meaning when before David was placed, before the sperm hit that egg, once the sperm hit the egg, how, does, how the, the body formed, his nose, his eyes, God wrote that down the book. He's going to have brown eyes. He's going to have black hair. He's going to be six foot four. He's going to be muscular. He's going to be skinny. He's going to be going to have all his toes. He's going to have all his fingers. He's going to have his eyes, his nose. He's going to have, he's going to go bald around mm, 40. He's going he's gonna to have so She's going to be so-and-so. She's going to have long hair. He's going to have woolly hair. He's going to have fine hair. He's going to have gray eyes. So God wrote this down in a book. Then let the, then, then. Once he sanctioned it, the sperm said, okay, that sperm right there with the egg, and it'll form what I wrote down. That's how God works. There is no evolution. It don't exist. Read 16 again. Verse 16. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. Not complete. And in thy book. All my members were written. All my body, my mind, internal, external was all written in your book. Go ahead. Which in continuance were fashioned. Which in time was fashioned into make a, into form of a child. Go ahead, an embryo. Go ahead. When as yet there was none of when them. I was, when as yet there was none in existence. I mean, our, our body parts are already written or pre-written as to how we form and how we're going to look. Look more like his mom, look more like his dad. God has that in a book up there. Crazy. Now. Give me First Chronicles 7 and 9. As I mentioned earlier about um, mm, gender. 
and the words that come from it. Gender, Genesis, which means beginning. Uh, First Chronicles 7, 9. First Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 9. And the number of them after their genealogy. After their what? After their genealogy. After their what? After their de- genealogy. After their gene, gene, genealogy. Gender, generation, genealogy. Same thing. Go ahead. By their generations. By their what? By their generations. Generation. It's all the same word. Where you at for 7-9? You still on 9? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Heads of the house of their fathers. Of their what? Of their fathers. Of their fathers, which determine the genealogy or the generation that the women conceive and bring forth. Go ahead. Mighty men of valor was 20,200. So I want now get Second Chronicles 31 verse 16. Well, the article that I have, do I have? Me see the videos real fast. Let me see my videos. Come on, see if I can pull something. Let me see. Okay, let me get. Uh, hold on. Let me get. Trans replacing women. Let me get that. The one, the one, the one, the, the f- one, two, three, four, fifth one. The, the, the either on the right. Nope, not him. The one on the right. All way right. Nope, over right there. That that one. Get that one. Check this out. Watch this. This all goes back to the serpent and feminism. This all goes back to that. The LGBT thing go right, goes right back to the, to the wave of feminism. Read that, watch this. You got it? In the last few years, a biological male has been named Woman of the Year on several magazine covers. A biological male is making tens of thousands of dollars being the face of womanhood for Nike, for Tampax, for Bud Light, for Kate Spade, and countless other companies. A biological male took home the award for Best Actress at the Golden Globes. Are we really still trying to make the case that feminism supports women when the feminists are completely silent and or cheering on biological men taking over the space of women? Hey, yo, man, you know. So, I want. so what I'm showing you is that there's confusion and madness in this thing. Heavy yeah. madness. They'll attack us and say we hate women, but you'll have men trying to be you saying that, that you're not real women, that they're real women. You're cis women. We're women. Madness. Make it make sense. Now, get Second Chronicles 31, 16. Second Chronicles chapter 31 and verse 16. Beside their genealogy of males from three years old and upward, even unto everyone that entereth into the house of the Lord, his daily portion for their service in their charges according to their courses, both to the genealogy of the priests by the house of their fathers, and the Levites from 20 years old and upward. The genealogy of the house of their fathers. It goes by the father. Get me real quick. Uh, etymology of patriarch. You know they say? The patriarchy. The patriarchy. We got to fight the patriarchy. Men. Men rule. Yeah, we do. They do. And you can't stop what God has, that was established. Right. All these rights women have today in America or in the, world, in the free world are, placed, are set in place by men. That's right. Read that. Patriarch. Patriarch. One of the Old Testament fathers. Right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. Progenitors of the Israelites. Wow. Go ahead. From Old French. Patriarchy. And directly from late Latin. Patriarcha. Patriarcha. From Greek. Patriarchus. Uh Chief or head of a family. Wow. Go ahead. From Patria. Family. Clan. From Pater. Father. Father. Archon to rule. So patriarch means the father rules the house. Patriarch, arch is rule, pate is father. The father rules. That's what patriarch means. The ruling father. That's what patriarch means. Now, watch this. Let's go down. Give me real quick the uh, word hysterectomy. Hysterectomy. Now, Esau pushes this also. When women oftentimes catch what they call a fibroids, um, that's due to oftentimes due to poor diet. A lot of dairy is involved in that. And a lot of sisters accumulate 
fibroids from bad dieting and lots of dairy which should be removed. Once, diet, once dairy is removed from your diet, oftentimes the fibroids shrink and go away. But those of you who continue to eat that stuff and know it's bad for you, your fibroids get too big and Esau tells you what? We must remove your womb entirely. It's called a hysterectomy. Now, it says, read it. Hysterectomy. Uh-huh. A surgical operation to remove all or part of the uterus. To remove all or part of the uterus. If, you, if they remove that, can you have children? No. They make you barren. They surgically make you barren. Now, what's the word here says? Greek is what? Hysteria means womb. Hyster is womb and ectomy. Click ectomy, please. What's that word mean? Go down. Ectomy, denoting surgical removal of a specified... Ah, so hysterectomy means womb removal. Hysterectomy means, hysterectomy means womb removal. Womb removal. Now, uh, get me uh, real quick. Vasectomy. Vasectomy. V-A-S-E. C-T-O-M-Y, vasectomy. No, nope, you're spelling it wrong. V-A-S-E, V-A-S-E-C. Okay, oh, there you go, fix this up. Read that. Vasectomy is a form of male birth control that cuts the supply. Nah, I don't want that. Get, go, 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 um, type in definition instead. No meaning, definition. Definition I want, same as hysterectomy. Here you go. Read, go down, read that. Vasectomy, the surgical cutting and sealing of part of each vast deference. Mm -hmm. That's the, um, the, the, um, the tubes. Go ahead. Typically as a means of sterilization. Surgical sterilization of men. See more? Go down. Mm, okay. So the word... Wait, 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 wait. Vasect. Go to etymology of vasect. Go to etymology of vasectomy. Etymology of vasectomy. Etymology. Yep, right there. Click that. Here we go. Vas. Is the word vas right there. It means tube. With that, what does it say? Vasectomy. Vas. In anatomy, a tube, duct, or conduit for conveying blood, lymph, semen, So, ectomy means removal. So, it is a du tube, conduit, or semen remover, basically. You sterilize. It's a surgical sterilization. That's what that is. So, men, men want to stop getting the wife pregnant, he gets this thing snipped. That's what happens. Now, sometimes men, that thing heals, and they still get pregnant. Okay? Women, what they do is they'll get, they'll get their thing tied. And sometimes they get some ravels, and they get pregnant again. So what do they do? They tie and what? Tie and burn. They do that. Now, so give me uh, the word definition of prostate. 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 Definition. Go down. Read that. Prostate. A gland in the male reproductive system. The That's all I want. Give me the etymology of it. It's a male gland. It's a male gland. Male gland. Read that. What did I say? Prostate. Prostate. Uh-huh. Mid 17th century via French from modern Latin. Prostata. Prostata. From Greek. Prost prostatis. Prostatis. Go ahead. Prostatis. One that stands before. Wait a minute. So prostate means one that stands before. Go ahead. From pro. Before. Before. Stands before. Now, go down. See more. See more. See more. Well, go, go, go there. Go there. That's fine. Go there. It might have what I want. Yep. Read that. That's what I want. Prostate. So men, only men have what? Who has, ov ov um, who has a, a uterus? Do men have uterus? Do men, women have prostates? Okay. Do men have prostates? Yes. Do women have, oh, sorry. do men have prostates? Do women have prostates? Do men have a uterus? Do women have a uterus? Yes. Read that there. Prostate. The prostate gland. 1640s from French prostate. Watch. From medieval Latin Prostata, the, prosta the prostate, from uh -huh. Greek, prostatus. Come on. Prostate, gland, from prostatus. From prostatus. So only, who has, so only who has a prostate? 
Only men have prostates. Watch what it is. Leader. What does prostate mean? Leader. What does a prostate mean? Leader. So only men are made with a prostate. And what does a prostate mean? Leader. Ruler. Guardian. One standing in front. One standing in front of who? The woman and the children. So God gave us prostates. We stand in front. We're in the front. Women don't have that. At the Jamaican spot, we don't have that. We don't have that. We don't have that. Standing in front, go ahead. From pro, 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 pro go ahead. Come on. Set before, from pro, before, from pi root per, forward, hence, in front of, before, testanai, cause to stand, from pi root star, to stand, make or be firm. That's what a prostate is. Oh, that's the only men have it, because that's a man's position. So nature, nature teaches. God said, I'm going to give man a prostate. And a prostate means he's a leader, a ruler, the guardian. He stands in front. He's in forward. He's front. He's in front of everything. That's why we have the prostate. They do not. Now, I'm almost done. Get me Leviticus 19 and 19. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Let them what? Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse What's kind. What's gender mean there? What's gender mean there? It means don't have them have sex. Because gender and sex are synonymous words. Don't let your cattle gender. means have intercourse with that one. Read again. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse don't kind. Don't let a horse sleep with a donkey. Don't let a cam don't let, don't let your, your, your sheep sleep with a with a with a ox. Go ahead. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. That goes into taking the fruit, the um, the strawberry seeds over here and grape seeds, throw them all together. No, they want to be separate. Also, it goes further than that it's going into your seed here and what else and the seed in your pants too don't mingle that seed either it's twofold read neither shall a garment mingle of linen and woolen come upon thee because God don't like mixed nuts or confusion I don't know what I am am I black am I white you don't like all that right? all confusion is cleared up and both your parents is Israel when one parent is this and that, they're all confused. I don't know. Uh, they're in the middle. They get made fun of. You're not black enough. You're not white enough. But well, both parents is Israel. They're good. Right. Here's what it is. In the, in the truth, of course. In the world, they, they're something else. In the yeah. truth, the same. Gender there. Get 2 Timothy 2, 23. 2 Timothy 2, 23. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 23. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. They do what? They do gender stripes. They do what? They do gender stripes. So in gender, what's gender mean in that, in that, in that instance? No, it wasn't sex strife. The hell is this? Who said sex strife? What the hell is sex strife? No, gender means produces strife. Right. It can produce strife. It creates strife, which, of course, sex is, well, yes, but. It says strife there, gender strife there. So I'm saying, yeah, they have sex and fight. That's what I was talking about. I was talking about the gender. The it produces strife. It creates strife. So gender and produce are synonymous words. Now, <laughs> the sex. Fight, you fight. And keep your perversion to yourself. And keep that rough stuff in your own house. You hear that? I'm nasty in here, man. Anyway, in 1 Corinthians 14, 33. Get rough with it. Yeah. I want to hear about that. Yo, yo, yo. Anyway, 1 Corinthians 14, 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. What we've read thus far, what we've gone through so far is confusion. Confusion, confusion. God is not the author of it. Get Deuteronomy 28, 28. 
But this is a result of, this is where confusion comes from. It comes from this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. The Lord shall smite thee with what? With madness and blindness. With madness and blindness. Madness and blindness. I mean, you crazy. Gender dysphoria, all these illnesses, mental illnesses, trauma from, from being um, your, what you were exposed to as, as young. That's all madness. Our nation, our nation, to be honest, as a whole, we are all a little crazy, all of us. We are broken. We come from broken homes. We all, we all have a little crazy in us. But there's certain of our people who are, they're like, they even, they're beyond, they're outside the spectrum. They, they, they're like, damn it, you got to really go in and fix them. That's the Bible is for. Get Ecclesiastes 7.29. So damn they do this. Give me the definition of uh, queer also. LGBTQ. They use the word queer, which summarizes the whole community. That, with that Q, that little Q, summarizes. When a person says they're queer, they're pretty much all the above in the LGBT acronym. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made man upright. God made man to do a woman and woman to do a man. He made man upright. Normal. Go ahead. But... They have sought out many inventions. Inventions is, I'll be a woman, you be a man. Let's switch places. Let's go back. Let's, let's create different types of ways to cause confusion. Now, look up queer now, what the word mean? Queer. Because that, that's the acronym, LGBTQ. Read that. Queer. Strange. Odd. Synonyms. Unusual. Uh -huh. Funny. Peculiar. Curious. Bizarre. <gasps> weird. Outlandish. Eccentric. Unconventional, abnormal, unorthodox, abnormal, uncanny, unexpected, unfamiliar, abnormal. abnormal. Go ahead. Anom anomalous, 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 atypical. atypical, untypical, different, out of the ordinary, out of the way, out of God's way, extraordinary, remarkable, puzzling, mystifying, mysterious, perplexing, baffling. Unaccountable. Go down to singular. Singular, what else? Singular. Right there, go ahead. Oh, singular. Deviant. 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 Go ahead. Aberrant. A aberrant. Freak. Freakish. There we go, that's better. Suspicious. Dubious. Questionable. Eerie. Un unnatural. Natural. That's Romans 1. Unnatural. Let's get that. Romans 1, you're going to be 22. I ain't got much time. I got to cut it short. A lot more, but I'm going to cut it short. I'm just going to continue part two. I, I can't help it. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. I can't do it. I got to do it. Come on. Go ahead. Romans chapter 1, verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools mm -hmm. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. White Jesus. White cosmic unaccountable Jesus. Unaccountability Jesus. Go ahead. And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Other gods. Go ahead. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Lust of their own hearts to do what they want to do. Make their own inventions. Ecclesiastes. Go ahead. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Uh-huh. How? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who was blessed forever. Amen. Come on. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Vile affections. Go ahead. For even their woman, they changed the natural use into that which, uh, which is against which nature. Which is against nature. We've been reading about nature all day. That activity is against the nature God established. Male and female created he them, men and beasts, fish, ants, bugs, humans, go ahead. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lusts one toward another. Gay. Men with men, working that which is unseemly. Unseemly or queer. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. That's why among that community... Disease runs rampant. It's highest it's ever been. The highest. When it comes to AIDS and herpes, syphilis, they, they, they catch the brunt of it. Because they're receiving themselves recompense that's suitable for them for doing that abominable act.
that they be involved in. That don't even make no damn sense what that is. Now, give me Sirach 13, 15. But this world encourages it. That's why I got to go. Sirach 13, 15. Sirach chapter 13 and verse 15. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorteth according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. Because they always find each other. People in these communities, they always find each other. They always, if their mindsets, confusion follows, they're going to find somebody else who's confused. And they, they band together and create these communities and these, and these freaking committees and gain power and wealth. A lot of these celebrities and politicians are heavily involved in it also. That's where their power comes from. A lot, in fact, a lot of this community right here is run by the so-calls. Because the so-calls use the same excuses. Like being, being uh, Semitic is a, a feeling and as Jewish is a, is a feeling. It's the same excuses. Their words change over time and transform and mutate because they all work together. They're all behind each other, literally. Especially the men. Maybe Toby, no, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. So I'm going to stop there. Lord's Law Part 2, unfortunately. But I hope you guys got some out of the class. I'm going to pray to the Most High. We're going to wrap it up. Till then, see y'all. Shalom.